<laughs> we move we move forward to ano, what pageant fans uh, are excited about your pageant journey. So we all know that you have a really impressive academic background. You are cum laude in your undergraduate and graduate degrees from the University of Santo Tomas, and you were also a college instructor back then. So, what was the turning point in your life that you realized that pageants is for you? Pageants oh, are for you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, ever since I was young, I wanted to But Growing up, because I understand that if you want the blessing to be in your life, your parents have to be with you in that journey. So, nung time kasi na yun, my parents were not pro me joining pageants. So, mm -hmm. I, I respected their decision. I never joined. And then, nung nanalo ako, nag start mag evolve yung pageants sa Philippines. Nag start yung TV Nusra. So, nag, nag change yung heart ng parents ko. They supported me. And nag karin ako ng heart to mali when I was already working. I was already working. Tapos na ako mag-aral, tapos na ako mag-master. And I wanted to join because I wanted to bring my profession to life. I wanted to let people know what I do. And I wanted to break the stereotype of beauty pageant. That's why I joined. I wanted to share a message more than anything else. And it did happen. <laughs> and your first yeah. uh, foray into national pageants was in Binibini in 2016. Yes. So, uh, Correct. How, how was your Binibini journey? How did you prepare for it? Since it's Actually, your first don't pageant. Actually, don't start lahat. Correct. Mm -hmm. Kasi yung first pageant ko never ako sumasal ng local pageant. And then, at that point, when I joined, I left my job. Kasi kailangan talaga prepared ako when I joined. Naintindihan ko naman na kailangan prepared ka talaga. So what I did was I left my job. I found a training camp that trained me for months before competing. Because I didn't have any connections. I didn't have any... Um, what do you call this? I didn't have any experiences with beauty pageants outside, so I don't have connections. So that's what I did. I left everything, my parents supported me, and I have a little savings to help me come by. And then that's that's how everything happened. You know, I'm very grateful for Bini Bini because I will uh -huh. never be who I am aside from Bini Bini Filipinas. Karen, I just want to ask also, um, during Bini Bini Filipinas time, what was mm -hmm. your memorable moments with Madame Stella Ara? Oh, Madame Stella would always there for would always be there for major pageants. I love Madame was very nice because she's like a mom. She's really like a mom to all of us girls, and she's very approachable actually. So what is uh, one thing that I'm very grateful for her? Kapag may mga important events, she would always be there. She would really make time to be there for you. Because nung time ko, misakit yata yung sa mag yung sibling niya abroad, so umuwi talaga siya for us to really come with us sa mga major events. So, doon mo siya ma-appreciate. Mm -hmm. Sino yung best Her friend mother, mo nung time na yun? Sorry. Ano, sorry. Who was, your best, who was your best friend then during Binibining Pilipinas? I was just curious. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, until now, they're good, we're good friends. Si Christine Asoke at saka si Joanna hmm. Eden. We're super good friends. Until now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's good to know. And uh, ako naman, uh, I was, I'm curious to know, uh, what was your fondest mm -hmm. memory as a binibini, because they said, "Oh, as a binibini, oh, as a binibini." So, what are your fondest memories of joining binibini? Ako, honestly, my fondest journey was doing it with my friends. Because uh -huh. ang hirap sa mali ng competition na you know you you're not you don't have any friends and then people don't like you. So, what uh -huh. really made it memorable for me is joining the competition. Even though it's a competition, you will have friends to help you when you're on stage who will boost your morale, who will help you kapag wala kang sapatos, who will give you makeup, who will help you kapag nasira yung damit mo. So that's what I really appreciate because you find friendship even in competition. So, uh, also, uh, ano na ba? Sige, dagdag ko lang, Amir. Okay. Dito niya yung nabanggit ni Pia during our last interview. Kapag nasa pageant na kayo, wala na yung mga camps, ano? Parang you all come together. Parang sisterhood talaga. Correct, correct. Talagang kapag kailangan niya ng ganyan, kasi di ba, parehas lang naman kayong contestant. So, whoever is gonna win, is gonna win. So, you know, you be the best person and you help that person no matter what she needs because you're all contestants. You know, whoever is gonna win, is gonna win. That's always sinabi ni Pia. And Pia is super bad. Super bad. 2016 uh, rin kasi nag-start yung mga many changes sa Binibining Pilipinas because if I'm not mistaken, that was the first year wherein you could actually choose your own gown designer. For the yeah. final. Yeah. 
2015, parang kumbia yes. pa, di ba? Filipino designers. Yes. Filipino designers. Yes, yes. So, Correct. who was your designer mm-hmm. during that time? Yeah. Ah, she's from Bicol also. Sister June. <laughs> siya yung aking ano, siya yung designer ko. He was very, very nice. Tsaka si Rian Fernandez, yung nagdamit sa akin ng cultural. Mm-hmm. Siya yung nagdamit sa akin sa Did you yeah, approach them? Designer. Did you approach them or they approached you? Or what was the process when you were actually choosing your dresses or evening gown and costume? It's more of sometimes they choose you and sometimes they have connections if they want to dress you. So, makakonek ka na lang sa kanila. So, they're actually good people out there who's going to give you great connections to help you in your journey. Okay. <laughs> Ako gusto ko lang itanongin, no? Hindi ba pumasok uli sa isip mo na gusto mong mag-join for the second time sa Binibini that time after ng first try? Actually, ang hinahanap ko talaga, sabi ko nga, even before I started joining competitions, gusto ko talaga is huwag mawawala yung purpose ko. Kasi yung purpose ko is to really share a message. So ang ginawa ko, nung sasali ulit ako, kasi parang ang bala ko dati, one time lang talaga. Kasi sabi ng parents ko, one time lang. But when they saw me on stage, they saw this really huge potential. So they gave me another more year, sabi nila. So what happened was that I asked my mentor, sabi ko, what is the perfect pageant for me? Is it Bini Bini again? But what they said was that, I can see you more from Miss Earth. So doon ako nag-start mm-hmm. mag-strategize nung sinabi nila for Miss Philippines Earth. That's mm-hmm. how everything started na nakombine ko yung physics and then yung advocacy uh-huh. ko, which is so wow. perfect for me. <laughs> okay. So that was the, no, the parang turning point na when you join now on Miss Philippines Earth. Yeah. So how did yeah. you uh, yeah, start point, yeah. how did you start preparing for uh, a different pageant? Say for definitely <laughs> Binibini strategy won't work in the Miss Philippines Earth yeah. pageant. So how how did you prepare for that? Okay. Ang um, importante no, yung transition ko, sobrang I always say my Binibini journey was very important because there I had my foundation. I learned how to pose, I learned how to walk, I learned how to make a good aura on stage, which is very important for beauty pageant. Hindi ka naman kasi aabot ng Q&A kung hindi ka magaling sa ganun. Kasi beauty pageant pa rin siya. So doon ko talaga nakuha yung foundations ko. That's why I'm very grateful for Binibini. But when I started strategizing for Miss Philippines Earth, nag-start ako mag-research kasi hindi ako environmental scientist. Sabi ko, ano ba yung edge ko? Kailangan kasi makilala ako. Ano ba yung kailangan i-maximize ko lahat ng strengths ko? And then naisip ko, ako yung unang scientist sa sali. Nakita ko na agad yung edge ko even before the competition. So may maximize ko siya. Nag-start ako mag-research. Nag-isip ako, ano ba yung Lehman's term na kaya ko i-combine yung physics sa Earth? Doon ako nag-start. Nag-research ako about climate change, about conservation of energy, and true enough, na-capture ko yung ears ng people. That's how it all started. So there was, uh, I remember, a lot of people were, uh, really impressed by your uh, Q&A during Miss Philippines Earth. Mm-hmm. But in the, for you, talagang dinaan mo sa pagre-research talaga, no? Tama? Yeah. Kasi hindi Kasi lang, hindi lang mahirap... kung ano lang yung alam ko. Parang gano'n. Mm-hmm. Kasi sa Miss Philippines Earth, um, hindi ka kasi pwedeng magpabulaklak ng salita. Kasi kailangan mong sak. Kapag mali ang nasabi mo sa Miss Philippines Earth, mali talaga. Wala na siyang pwede <laughs> ibang way. Kasi, Factual siya eh. Diba? Correct. Yes. Kapag mali na sabi mo, mali na siya. Doon ako nag-start mag Sabi ko, ah, hindi pwedeng wala akong alam. Kasi kapag wala akong alam, makapahiya ako kapag natanong ako. That's actually very scary. Yung Miss Earth Q&A is really very scary because you are not being asked general questions about Correct. You know, Correct. things ar- under the sun. You're really being asked environmentally related yes. questions. Yeah. Yun ang pagkakaiba. Correct, correct. You're right. Kailangan mo to, you really have to know what you're talking about. Otherwise, yung mga, mm-hmm. otherwise, even no matter how good you memorize things, if you don't know exactly what yes. you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'm it's a big situation. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm curious to know, which one was harder? Competing in Binibini or in Miss Philippines? Uh, actually, magkaiba sila. Kasi sa Binibini, uh-huh. um, iba, yung, iba yung approach eh. Sa Miss Philippines Earth, pagoran. Sobrang pagoran. To take you on traveling. <laughs> may, sobra kasi may time na hindi na kami natutulog. Kasi iba yung schedule mo the previous day. Tapos part ka pala ng group that you have to go to a province. Sa Binibini naman, it's different. Um, it's pagod when it comes to training. But then you still have time to, to rest. 
So magkaiba siya when it comes to schedules. Um, so you really have to adjust personally your body. You have to eat right. You have to drink your vitamins because you cannot afford getting sick. You mm-hmm. cannot afford not being in a major competition or in a mm-hmm. major uh, pre-pageant. Kung hindi, kaya yung score mo. Kasi nagkasakit ka. So yun siya. Magkaiba siya actually. So, ako, I just want to know. May mga scoring system. I'm like, sorry, Amir. May mga it's scoring okay. system okay. talaga na nangyayari in every activities mm-hmm. sa Miss Earth. So you mm-hmm. really could not miss it. Yeah. Yes, actually, ang, ang important is, ang dami ng katanong nito, yung medals, yung mga yeah. free pageant medals, mm-hmm. actually, it's just for boosting the morale. Okay. Walang kinalaman yung medals for you to Ayun. get into the top 16. Okay. Ang, important, ang important for top 16 is yung prejudging. Okay. Yun yung important. Mm-hmm. So, people have to know that. Yeah, actually, yun dapat ang tanong ko. Uh, no, I'm oh, so you just answered answer the question. It's okay, yeah. it's okay. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. At least that's a good thing. You're going to get me kind of new pre-judging. And I remember during your time in 2017, that was the first time that Miss uh, the Carousel Productions made the pre-pageant activities public. So, yeah. na yung fans. they get to see what happens behind uh, the scene, mm-hmm. behind closed doors. So, how do you think you as candidates? Na, uh, as candidates na parang, oh my God, we'll be streamed live on Facebook. While we are being judged, mm-hmm. actually, um, I didn't take it um in a bad way or anything. I took it um as a strength. Because I said, "It's only time, mo, na para ipakita sa judges kung anong kaya mong gawin." At the same time, it's only time na pakita mo sa tao kung anong kaya mong gawin. So you really have to make extra effort during that time. I took it as a positive side, not the negative side. I was watching it actually. What what yes, what? Okay. One thing that I was, uh, I, I will say it now, ha, kasi, well, it's been three years already. Um, I was a little bit disappointed nung hindi tinawag si Miss Japan sa best in interview. <laughs> because she, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. she was so good. The translator was so good. And uh-huh. then sabi ko, ay, naku, pasok na to si Japan finally after so many years. And then hindi siya nakapasok. I was like, so, ano ba? <laughs> <laughs> Kailangan mo talaga mag-English dito para makapasok. So what, what exactly is the, the, the mechanics regarding choosing someone or judging the intelligence round of Miss Earth? I really want to know because, you know, I was, honestly, I, was, I couldn't believe na hindi pasok si Japan eh. Because her answer, correct, correct. I, could, I could understand her answer. And they were not they were not rehearsed answers. She was really very spontaneous. Mm. She knew what she was talking yeah. about. And then yung pag-translate rin ng translator was very, very really good. good. Mm-hmm. So sabi ko, pasok na to. And then hindi rin siya nakapasok. Kahit man lang, ni isang event, hindi siya nakapasok sa top 16. Well, I would probably understand sa ibang category, but hindi, hindi ko lang maintindihan yung sa, ano, yung sa intelligence part. So what exactly are they looking for when it comes to the intelligence round judging of Miss Earth? I, I think uh, it's really not more of you knowing how to speak in English. Pero to mm-hmm. yun, kasi in Japan, I could still remember, I watched her Yenong siya about the nuclear power plant. Na, naalala ko pa yun. Kasi, yes, yes. It's a very, very diba? big and sensitive topic here in Japan. So Yeah. Cool. Actually, the, the 2013 Fukushima event, to be honest, during my Miss Philippines, uh, during my Miss Earth, I wanted someone to ask me about nuclear power plants because my field is masters. <laughs> I'm a physicist. I, I focus on radioactive sources. Wala mo na nagtanong sa akin. Sabi ko, ah, okay. Sabi ko, I was really waiting for that question. Wala nagtanong sa akin. Na-focus siya kay Japan because of the Fukushima event. Mm-hmm. I guess, um, kasi siya pre-judging, madaming judges, hindi lang siya isa. Mm-hmm. So I guess, it, it's still depending on the person who understood your answer. So I think may point pa rin doon na kung nagustuhan nila yung sagot mo, um, I can't really say what happens inside kasi mm-hmm. andun ako sa point of view na sumasagot. Tapos oh, wow. you're only given two minutes. Two minutes. And then, mag-ring sila ng bell kapag tapos na, tsaka pa mag-start. Oh. Tapos, parang, anim sila doon. Anim sila magkatulong ng questions sa'yo. So, I really don't know how they do the judging. But I know there are different professionals in different environmental fields. Okay. 